What's up, pack members? It's your leader, Spirit Alpha here, and welcome to another video. I know, I haven't uploaded in a while. Actually, I haven't uploaded since, like, last Christmas or whatever. I know, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded, but I really just have not had any motivation to film because my video camera is still, like, even with, like, the portable battery charger, I still feel like it does not want to hold its charge for very long. So as such, i am decided to film this video actually by using my PC computer. So, you know, this is going to be a little bit different kind of review than what I'm used to or what I'm usually doing. So, yep, but here's how I'm going to review Th this right here. This is the Lego Icons Optimus Prime. I have it in truck mode right now. So, yep, and before this video begins... I do have a quick disclaimer. I'm actually not very familiar with Transformers. I have never seen the movie, never really, or movies, I should say. Never really watched a cartoon series. I've just seen a few little clips of it. And, yeah, so if I get something wrong or don't know what something is, y'all can correct me in the comments. I'm just not very familiar with Transformers. They look cool, but I've just never been, like, big on them, but, you know, having one in Lego form is always awesome. But anyhow, let's go and take a look at it. So, this here is the Optimus Prime in truck mode. And see, it has, like, the little box kind of design, and I know in the movies, it's like an actual, like, curved, big rig 18-wheeler truck, so I'm guessing this is, like, the version from, like, the old cartoon, or even the comics, if there are Transformers comics, again, I'm not very familiar with Transformers. But it still looks really cool, and, you know, it has, like, the Autobot logo right here, and I think it, yeah, it has it on both sides. And we have, like, the mufflers, or whatever you call them, up top. You have, like, the grade and the license plate and all that. And there's really not much articulation on it in truck, truck mode, but it does roll along. Let me actually tilt the camera down a little bit so I can show this off. But it does actually roll pretty well. Sure, it's still a little bit stiff, but, you know, it's still cool. And, yeah. So, I guess, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start transforming it, shall we? So, I'm trying my best to do this, if, you know, without having awkward angles. But, you know, since this is, like, a hands-free camera view where, you know, I don't have to hold the camera, I should be able to get most of this going on, or going, so... To start, the first thing you want to do is right here, right in the back, there's a little piece right here. Just take that out and hold up this little, like, notch here so it's sticking up like that. Yeah, right there is what I flip. And we'll just set that aside for now. We'll, we'll deal with that later. So next up is we're going to turn this around. Snap these two in half, they detach. We're going to flip the, these little parts up, which will become the feet. And we will stand it up, but not right now. And as, as a matter of fact, let's actually snap these two back at the gear just so I have some stability while I'm transforming it. You don't want your model to collapse when you're transforming it. That would be tragic. And so yeah, we'll stand it up like this. And this part might be a little bit tricky. Actually, well, actually... Sorry, I it's a weird transformation. So I guess what you take yeah, from the back, or yeah, now I remember. Right underneath the grate, you actually might have to lift it up a little to do this. Fold these up, these little blue parts. And pull these aside. But now that they're sticking out, now we can easily Pull these outwards so now they're facing outward like arms. And then now that that's loose, we can prop it up and gently, don't do it too hard, push this up top like this, spin this around, and also, push the camera a little bit, spin this all the way around. And yeah, you might have to lift a little notch back here, just don't want it to get stuck. And right down here, Fold these little, whatever they're called, these little gas canisters. I'm actually not very familiar with how, with the 
design of 18 wheel trucks. You know, I love trucks. I just, you know, haven't learned what each and every little piece is or part is. So now that those are adjusted, you can turn these aside if you like, and those become my cans, and we'll go ahead and put them down. Afterwards, fold down this part and actually take off the license plate right here, this little part right here, and replace it with this one right here, which is another piece that came with it, another little accessory. And I don't know if I'm putting that on upside down or not. Whatever the case, we're going to go ahead and fold it like this. And I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, yeah, that seems about right. So, after that, there's a little notch. Or not a notch, but a little area back here. Right here. Just flip that up. Oops. Or not like that. <laughs> and that, uh, oh, thank goodness it's right here. I almost had to go off camera for that. <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulties. Let me reattach that real quick. Alright, so as I was saying, flip, yeah, I'll do it again. Flip this up. And, you know, you have the head now. Pretty cool, cool design. And then after that, you can take the legs apart or unsnap them and there you have yourself Optimus Prime let me actually scoot back a little bit so I can show y'all so this is the model of Optimus Prime right here it looks pretty, pretty cool it's definitely really cool that Lego was able to do this I know this isn't the first time Lego has been able to do this whole transforming model thing considering they've done Voltron which I have done a review on and I'll Compare the two of them um, after this is over, but uh, yeah. So, yeah, really cool, but this isn't everything that comes with this set. So, it, we actually have a few accessories that come with this. So, first of all, there's this piece right here, which I don't necessarily know what it is. It's, I guess it's some kind of like Energon core or something. I don't know. But to put this in, actually open up the window area here, put it here, it doesn't snap in, it just kind of rests in there. And then you can close it up and you have that in there. And another unique feature, or not feature, but another piece that comes with it is this little, like, plaque or whatever. A placard, you know, has all the information on it. It says Optus Prime and has, you know, the other information like the function, the strength, the... Intelligence. It's pretty cool, really. I, I like that. And next up is this piece right here, which is, well, you might remember we took this off the back. Well, this is actually his gun, so to put the gun on, take it right here, make sure this little piece is out, otherwise you'll be, it won't work. And you can move the fingers up if you want to, and there's a little stud area. Right here, and by this works on both arms. It doesn't have to be on this arm. This is just the arm that I prefer. And yeah, after that you can make sure I'm, I'm just make sure I'm doing it right. I don't have it upside down, do I? Okay, good. I don't. <laughs> Sorry, pack members. I'm working with what I can right here. Yeah, there we go. So now he has his gun. Looks pretty cool. And then the other features are this piece right here, which is some kind of like energy axe or whatever you do call it. And this one, this one actually also connects, but it works a little different. I'll do it in the other hand here. Now the instruction manual says actually take off the hand to put it in, which you can do, but I feel like that's more tedious. And how I figured how to Put it on is actually fold down the hand if I'm doing it right. Ah, there we go. So, yeah, fold it down like that. And there's a little stud, or not stud, but a little hole right in the hand. You just slide it on, or slide it in right there. And there, now you have this energy axe. Again, really cool. I do think that's a really nice feature. 
Next little accessory is this right here, which is his jetpack, which I am glad they included. And same same thing, just on the back, it like there's like little area back here that you plug it into. I got just gotta find it. Ah, there we go. Or is that it? All right, I need to take a look at. Oh, or did I find it? Yeah, I think I found it. Good. So now he has the jetpack. Oops. <laughs> Don't want him to fall over. Then as for the air accessories, besides this right here, which is obviously the license plate that we removed while transforming him, it also has this right here. It doesn't connect anywhere, it's just here. And I actually don't know what this is. I would say it's the All Spark, but I don't know if that that's right or not. But you know, there's not much to do with it. Like it doesn't connect anywhere specific in this model. I guess you could just have him holding it if you didn't have either weapon on, or you can like. Well, I guess there is no I put put because obviously you can't put it in his chest. You can't store it down here. So yeah. I'm now going to zoom back a little bit. So, yeah. Again, this is the full model. And I guess we can also have the placard and the whatever in front of it. And there we go. There's Lego Optimus Prime. So, and now, like, like I said, I am going to compare this model with the Voltron, which I do have right here. I'm careful with it. All right, so here, here he is next to Lego Voltron. As you see, he is smaller than Voltron because Voltron is well, his swords in the way, but still, Voltron is a good bit at taller. He's he's probably maybe a foot tall, or well, maybe not that much, but you know what I mean. So, so he is so Optimus Prime is smaller than the model of Voltron, but I still think this is a really cool model. Considering both of these could transform, obviously Voltron he transforms into the five different lions that you would see in the Voltron shows, and then Optimus Prime here obviously transforms into his truck form, which is pretty awesome. So overall, I'm gonna go ahead and put Voltron to the side for now. So overall, oh, well, I do think this model here is really, really good, and. It's not too old either. Like, I think it came out last year, and it's still in stores, obviously, and obviously it's online. So, if you're a big Transformers fan and a big Lego fan, I'd say this, this set is really, really good to have. Sure, it is more of a collector set, so probably most kids probably won't enjoy this set very much because there's not much functionality minus the transforming process. But I do think Transformer fans will definitely love this set. If you, like I said before, if you love Transformers and if you love Legos, then this set is a really good one to get. So, anyhow, I think that just about wraps up this video. So, hope you enjoyed. And, again, I will try to do more videos now. Probably not many video game videos, considering, you know, I need my video camera for that. And, you know, it doesn't want to hold charge for very long so you know probably not going to be able to do that but i will try to show more reviews like lego reviews because i still because i actually have a good bit of lego sets that i've had for a while now that i want to review so oh yep again i'll just upload when i can and until next time this is spirit the alpha signing out i'll see you guys back in the pack